It's almost time. I think I'm good. So, Rotor Riot said that you have to shake your LiPo batteries uh, while they're charging for like at least 10 minutes. Uh, and it, it helps increase the, uh, the, the run time of your batteries. Uh, and I guess just something to do with the chemistry in there and it helps separate uh, some of the chemicals in the cells and stuff. So we're gonna give it a shot and see how it works. Uh, I, I don't have, I, I have, I don't have high hopes for this this uh, this technique, and I, I'm not sure why. It's just there's something about it that's just not not jiving with me. You know, I'm not sure if it's a not there. I'm not sure if that's really a thing. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, guys? Uh, welcome back to the FPV Noob Tube, uh, a channel for noobs by noobs. And today we're going to be talking about the Tyrannus QX7. Um, all jokes aside, uh, this transmitter is amazing. I, I really like it. Um, and uh, happy April Fools, by the way. So, um, what am I talking about the QX7 for and what kind of stuff are we going to be talking about? So we're going to be talking about today, uh, specifically taking the back panel off and actually um, setting it up for either mode 1 or 2. Uh, the way that your throttle stick is going to be set um, to where it won't, you know, it won't spring. You don't want, you don't want springy sticks. You want sticky sticks. <laughs> sticky sticks. Uh, you want it to stay uh, wherever you leave it. So that's what we're going to do with our throttle stick today. It's no big deal. Not, not that hard to do. Don't worry about it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Unless you want, when you, when you release your throttle, you want it to snap back to the middle. Your quad just gonna take off into freaking space and just be gone and you're gonna be like oh I'm gonna burn my quad and all that bad stuff so don't do it we're gonna hook it up today no problem if you guys have been here before then you may notice that something's missing uh, if you haven't been here before don't worry about it we're gonna get right into the video if you guys are that curious about what happened to the mustache check out the end of the video whichever way the end is I don't know uh, and I'll tell you a little story at the end there it's actually pretty funny so uh, let's get to it all right, guys. So a few things we're gonna need for this. Uh, it's gonna be this is called a number one Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, it doesn't have uh, quite as large of a head as a number two. We're gonna need one of those. We're gonna want um, one of these guys, a smaller Phillips head screwdriver, uh, and then maybe um, some kind of needle nose pliers. Uh, possibly, not necessarily, but they help. Uh, and then just a little bit of patience, guys. So what we're gonna do, uh, right out of the box, we get our, our transmitter, and it's super cool, and it's really clean, and we're really excited about it, and we wanna go fly. So first, you need to decide which side you want your throttle on, because normally, your throttle doesn't stay in the center. So you got your, that's your throttle, then you're gonna have some problems, because your, your throttle's gonna be sitting in the middle, and as soon as you let off that throttle, boom, your quad's taken off. You don't want that. So we're going to set our throttle to do this instead of this. So which side do you want your throttle? Mode 2 or mode 1? Just depends on, I don't know, you, what you like. Most people use mode 2. So we're going to flip this guy over. This thing is going to get in the way. Okay. Flip this guy over. We're going to unscrew. I'm going to unscrew all of these screws and we'll get to the inside of this guy and see what he looks like. So don't forget, open up your battery tray and there's a screw here and a screw here. So before we move any further, we're gonna take these batteries out. Now be careful because you don't, you're, you don't wanna rest your, your transmitter on these gimbals here. So oh, there goes the screw. So we're gonna support the back here and we can lift up on this if we like, but very carefully, give it a little wiggle. If any of your screws are still tight, you'll know. There we go. So we're going to lift up and then this way and you're going to see this little cable here. We're going to do this slowly because we don't want to pull this, uh, this power cable out. This is connecting our uh, transmitter to our battery compartment here. So this is going to be pretty tricky. Uh, you don't want to pull on the wires here. So that's kind of why I've got these needle nose here. If, this, if I can get it pinched very carefully. <clears throat> Once I get it loose, I'll grab it and then I'll pull it out like that. You just want to be careful uh, not to use too aggressive of a side-to-side -side motion with these or with your fingers because you don't want to uh, dislodge this plug from the board as well. Um, you just want to be, this thing is really tight. 
plugged into here. So just be careful when you're trying to get it unplugged uh, that you don't damage this or this. So now that we got that off, we should be okay to pull the rest of this thing off here. So we're gonna set this aside. Remember, we might still have some screws left in the holes there. I know I lost one down here somewhere. So there it is. Stick that in there. Okay, so uh, you'll notice we got all kind of crazy stuff. Um, so just be careful. Don't start touching and rubbing your grubby fingers and stuff all over your Cheeto fingers and stuff all over the uh, everything here. We don't want to do that. Uh, so what we want to do though is figure out um, which one is the throttle. So if this is the left side, if we were to flip this over, this would be the left. So this is the one we want to do. So if we look really close, you'll see, see that spring stretch right there? Uh, so that spring is stretching because it's connected to my yaw. So that's my side to side. But you'll notice my up and down doesn't do that. So if you look, there was a spring right here. So there's this spring and there was one right here. And that spring was connected to this thing down here, right there. So what did I do? Well, what you want to do is you want to take, and I can do it on this side, because this will be the same thing. See that spring right there? That's your up and down, and that's your left and right. All right, so your up and down spring looks like that. So what you can do is you can take something really thin, like your small screwdriver, um, or get you some needle nose pliers. So let's see if I can get a better angle here. All right, I think I got a good angle there. So um, remember, this uh, spring that I'm gonna be pulling off uh, is for demonstration purposes only. Uh, the one that you would want to pull off if you wanted to get your uh, your throttle set like mine would be this side here, but I've already done that. So what we're gonna do is, uh, instead of pulling it from here, you would pull it from the top right up here, but there's nothing there, see? So I'm going to take my needle nose, I'm going to grab, I'm trying to do this with the camera, right on the edge of that spring, Hold this down with my finger, pull up and over, and there it is. So if you notice, on the other side, I want to make sure nothing falls out the back here. The throttle on the right is just loose, you know? It's, it'll stay up, it'll stay down, but it's not too, it's kind of, it's shaky. It's like it doesn't want to, it'll stay loose, but it just drops to the bottom. It's not cool. That's not what you want. What you want is something that when you let go, it stays exactly where you left it. Okay? So we're going to flip this guy over again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and replace this spring back where I found it because I don't want this side of my uh, transmitter doing this. And I'll show you how to get your gimbal to stay like this instead of flop around like this. Okay? Okay, so I've got my spring back on here. Uh, if you did take the wrong spring off on accident, uh, I will say that if you grasp your spring with the tips of your needle nose really uh, carefully, position it in the correct uh, position to reinstall. Okay. And if you look, there's a little arm right here. That's the pivot point and the arm goes all the way down to in here and connects to this spring. If you can take your finger and you, you push down on this arm here, it'll lift it down here. And that way you can get this spring tucked under that arm like so and then back on top of right here where it's supposed to go. But right now what we're worried about is making sure that our stick is going to stay where we put it. Now uh, if you look here we've got two options. We've got a flat option and we've got one option with like a little little divot in there. Right here. Same thing on this side. Right here. So if you look I've chosen to screw down this option here uh, which has the divot. So all that means is that I took my screwdriver and I'll show you on this one I, I pushed, now these, gonna, these screws are going to be really tight, 
so uh, be careful not to strip them. Uh, but a screwdriver about this size is what I use because it fits well into the slot here. Uh, you just need to make sure not to strip that screw because uh, these screws are very tight. There we go. You screw this down a little bit at a time. That's why I said you need patience because these screws are very hard. A little bit at a time until if you see this wheel. As a matter of fact, I'll show you on this one. You see that little uh, curved part? So what's going to happen is the little divot, the little dimple, is going to touch the curved part, and what you're going to get is this. So what's happening is this wheel has two options. It's got one with little dimples all the way in it. So when those dimples touch this divot, this little uh, piece here, uh, it's going to create what's like a ratchet or like a, a that, that effect that you hear. And you can feel the texture in the stick. Um, what I would recommend is at least trying that. Uh, if you like it, then you can keep it. If not, then you can opt for this option here, which would be the smooth option. What that means is your stick is going to stay uh, where you put it, but you won't get that, that physical feedback in your fingers. You can feel it in your hand uh, where the position of the stick is. It's pretty nice. I like that. Um, otherwise, it's just going to be a real smooth, no noise, um, but the stick will stay exactly where you want it. That's completely up to you guys. Uh, you can choose whichever option you like. Uh, I just happened to try this one first and I like it. Uh, you will notice that you're going to have to screw in this screw quite a bit. If you look, the difference there, there's a pretty big difference. So you're going to want to make contact with the little disc here with the metal ribbon. Um, but after you make contact, you may have to screw it down a little bit farther than you think. Uh, you can always back that off a little bit after you test out. You turn this around, test that out, and see how you like the, uh, the strength of the hold on that. You don't want it too loose, but you also don't want it too tight. <sighs> What's going on, guys? Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video for the QX7. I just got back from flying. I tried to take a break from all this stuff. It was really driving me nuts. The editing program is just killing me right now. Um, so I, the rest of the video was going to be the reassembly of the transmitter, um, which pretty much is just the opposite of what you did to take it apart. Um, I was going to end it there, but I wanted to show you guys one thing. If you look on the back of the transmitter here, I've got some foam that I stuck in there. And that's gonna stop it from uh, wobbling around. Too bad. Yeah, that's a pretty good tune. It's annoying when you're trying to hold it and your fingers are tapping it and stuff, so I put some foam in there. When you're reassembling uh, this transmitter, just, just watch out for these little pins. You see these little pins right here? They're sticking up. They're gonna go through this hole right here, this little slot. You're gonna think that it goes in this hole uh, and they don't. So don't do it. Uh, just be careful. Don't bend them. Uh, that's the only thing you really need to worry about when you're reinstalling this thing. Just get that plug plugged in correctly. Uh, you can only plug it in one way for the battery uh, compartment anyway, so don't worry about it. Um, besides that, guys, get you some foam and put that in there. Really cool, simple solution. And it stops when you get... It's not as bad. It's, it just doesn't... I don't know. I, I could tell the difference. I like it. Oh, that's right. Oh, I think I was supposed to talk about the, the, the mustache <laughs> at the end of the video. So uh, if you don't already know, because a lot of people were on the Facebook page already anyways, and they already know what happened. Uh, I think that one of the guys at the firehouse clipped off the right side uh, in my sleep or something. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. If not, it, it could be because I sleep on my right side a lot, and it just was like damaging the hair follicles or some stuff. I don't know. I don't miss it. Uh, I actually really enjoy not having it. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, except for the fact that I look like a child now. I look like I'm like 16, and it sucks. But whatever. Uh, I don't have to worry about messing with it and grooming it and all that junk. Mr. Steel can have it. I don't want it. Um, so, God, I got hat here. I blew my ESC today. Blew it. Blew it up. This is the second ESC I've blown up on this quad. Um, and like two different spots. 
You can smell it. Um, guys, check this out. I think we're about to hit a thousand subscribers, uh, and we're gonna do a giveaway. So, I'm excited. You can't tell because I'm really tired right now, but I'm really excited. Uh, we're gonna do a giveaway for 1,000 subscribers, just like we did for 500 subscribers. But this time it's gonna be even better because it's 1,000 subscribers, and the the prize is gonna be even better than last time. We had a Vertitech Racing Frame for the winner last time. Awesome, awesome giveaway prize in my opinion. Uh, I still haven't even gotten one of the, the frames that we gave away. I want to get one for myself. But this time, the giveaway is going to be even better. So, hope you're excited. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw a little bit of footage. It's a little bit of teaser of my uh, flight I had yesterday. Really enjoyed it. Uh, so, I'm just going to throw a couple little clips in the end here. So, I'll see you guys later. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. Join the FPV Noob Tube Facebook group, and then also look out for quite a few other awesome uh, FPV Noob FPV Noob Tube uh, things happening here pretty soon. We got some exciting stuff coming, so stay tuned. Take the road.